Hello viewers. I'm doing a video that is a little bit out of the norm for this channel, uh, but it's kind of me building off of another video I recently did uh, on an email exchange with Lasco uh, on their box fans. And as I talk about in that video, my day job is um, I'm on the executive side of the company I work for with a career in sales and marketing. And customer engagement, customer interaction, customer service is something I've been doing for 20 plus years. And a friend of mine who works in, and this is off topic, but you might get a kick out of it. So bear with me. A friend of mine who works in a medical practice, um, a medical practice, a small medical practice that is struggling to keep their doors open and that are making questionable decisions that have led them into this situation. And my friend of mine is just trying to do everything to kind of keep the, keep the place from falling down. Uh, this person is a good person and they're getting frustrated because the practice owner is a doctor. And it's kind of like what they say, um, for example, a, um, a person who's a personal, a very successful personal trainer may not be a good business owner owning a gym. That's, they're not, in, they don't know business well, but they know personal training, excellent. Same thing with like an auto mechanic. They may be the best mechanic in the world, but they're a horrible business owner because they just don't know um, how to make really good business decisions because that's not their trade. They didn't go to school for that. They might not have experience on that side. It's not a knock on them. Um, There's certainly things that I am not good at or as strong at as my, my core competencies. I get it. I guess the really the key is, is recognizing those, those qualities within yourself and then leaning on those around you who ha who are strong in those areas. Um, that's just part of business. So where this letter comes in, this doctor or practice owner wants to raise, I guess, uh, membership. That's one, one way he's trying to save, save his bacon. So he writes this letter to patients to go out the day before Independence Day. So basically, and from what I also understand, he took a week vacation. So he basically hit send on this and then went on vacation for a week, leaving office staff to field phone calls addressing this letter. I think that is horrible. Uh, and the day before a holiday. So, uh, from what I understand, the demographic of this practice is mostly elderly. So elderly, you know, they, they receive this, they're going to pick up the phone likely on the spot and call and ask why. Um, and that's not, again, that's not fair to the people you leave behind in the office. And yeah, one may argue, eh, hey, practice owner can do what you want. Yeah, I, I agree, but you're also trying to build a team and you're trying to lead, right? Um, so I'm gonna read this to you. It has, so it, it, one, it's written poorly. There's a lot of I's in it versus we. And there's also horrible grammar mistakes. And I, I am appalled that a doctor wrote this and sent this out. And the, I understand what he was trying to do. He was trying to make it personalized, but it's a little too far. So I'm gonna read it. Um, I tried to make, I'm not, I'm doing this on the fly. So I don't, so I hope it's coming through in the camera okay. And I made it larger. But, but try to follow along with me so you can pick up on the grammar and just the formatting is a disaster. Dear patient, and obviously I changed the name of the practice in here. I am very grateful for your membership with Acme Direct Care. The direct primary care model is working. We have just passed our 15 month point and this growth period has provided clarity when it comes to revenue and expenses. I appreciate you evolving with us. We are steadfastly, steadfastly, yeah, independent and will continue to provide the personalized care you expect and deserve. But real world finance, finances require me, oh boy, 
to adjust our monthly membership fees. Require me? No. Require us? Something like that. It's no I or me. Don't do that. Effective September 1st, 2024, I am increasing each membership fee by $15 per month. Again, the I am, oh, no, 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 no. Effective September 1st, 2024, we are increasing each membership. We are increasing membership fees by $15 per month. This adjustment allows Acme to, notice the formatting in these bullets, foster the patient provider relationship by preserving appropriate panel sizes. Maintain prompt access to the practice when you need us. Con punctuation. Oh, yeah. Continue our, now we get the capital letters, continue our clinical pharmacist and orthopedic sports medicine program. Allow for appropriate visit times, colon, you get the time you need with your provider. Continue our capital letters again. Continue our discount lab program, including access to affordable cardiac and cancer screening panels. Grow our edu educational and preventative workshop programs. Develop our nurse coaching program with affordable group and individual coaching sessions. The grammar is just appalling in that section. Horrendous. My friend was mortified and I had to beg her this, let me see this. Um, Importantly, Acme will be able to remain independent and work directly for you, not corporate systems, insurance companies, or the government. Grammar, grammar, grammar. We are planning to bring new physicians into the practice over the next year with diverse areas of expertise that will only help to serve you better. Now, the irony, as I know the backstory, is they can barely afford, um, I probably shouldn't say this, they can, let's just put it this way, they can barely afford what they have, so it's very interesting to see that they're going to be adding new physicians. If you have already paid in advance for part of your membership, the adjustment will not go into effect until your renewal date. How generous. I acknowledge that price increases are difficult. Maybe we and this is what kills me. I'm a father of six kids, colon. I get it, period. <laughs> Due to forces beyond any of our control, the cost of living and operating a business on Cape Cod is, over, is only going up. I want you to know that I and our entire team are fully committed to you and will continue to strive every day to make you feel the value of your membership with Acme. Moreover, I am personally committed to practicing medicine for on, well, I already said Cape Cod, on Cape Cod for decades. As my family celebrates the 4th of July, I am proud of the little healthcare revolution we started on XXX. Thank you for being part of the team. Sincerely, Doofus Hindenburg, medical doctor. I have too much insight into what's going on in this practice and this is just kind of like the lid and you open up this lid and what i know about how people are being managed expenses are being managed it's and what the focus is on in terms of patient care it's become a, a, a cry for desperation to keep the doors open versus true patient care. Maybe I've said too much, <laughs> but my point is, I, I just, it's a head scratcher to me as a business executive. And, I, and I'm not on, I'm not trying to be on a high horse. I'm talking to you with a baseball cap on and a undershirt. So I, <laughs> I, I, I have a lot to learn myself, of course. But just from my experience, um, this is not putting your best foot forward. And the interesting thing with more of the elderly population is they tend to be more well-read. And did I say that correctly? 
they tend to be well read and they will read something like this and wonder what is going on. They're asking me for more money and they hit send and they left for a week. I, again, I also understand he tried to personalize it with making it like he feels the pain too. But I think there was too many eyes and me's and it's just a, a joke. All right, rant over. And I know I went off the beaten path on the channel here with something like this, but it just really bothered me that somebody who can go to all those many years of school, probably perform surgery on somebody, save saves lives um, or has the ability to save lives and prescribe medical care can put something so poorly together like this without anyone proofreading it. I heard no, no one uh, proofread it clearly, thankfully. And um, it just, again, proves my point. The best auto mechanics don't make the best business owners. The best personal trainers don't make the best business owners. The, you know, they say doctors are the worst patients. Actually, I know a little bit about this guy. He's, he's a nice guy, but questionable here. And uh, uh, that kind of holds true. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for listening as I kind of went off the rails on this video. But for what it's worth, here, here it is. Next video, hopefully we get back to what we, what we love and like vintage everything. See you next time.